Hi guys, I have been requested to share my YouTube camera equipment. So here I am today to fill that request. Um, this is going to be a very beginner friendly video on my camera equipment. So let's go ahead and get started with the tripods. I have four tripods in total. And the first one being the largest one that I'm sharing here is by the brand Bauer. Once fully extended, this tripod stands just a little bit over six feet. It is perfect for filming outside because it is extremely sturdy. The second tripod is in the brand Vivitar or by the brand Vivitar. And I love to use this one in the house. It's a little bit um, more lightweight than the first one I showed, but just as sturdy. Um, it, once extended, stands a little over five feet tall. And then the last two tripods are just going to be your basic countertop tripods. These are great when you're trying to vlog on the go. The smaller tripods are great for filming makeup videos or if you like to vlog while you are at dinner, they are great for setting on the table and attaching a small camera. So those are my tripods. All right, so with the tripods out of the way, let's go ahead and take a look at the cameras. The first camera that I want to share with you is my Canon Rebel T3i. I have had this camera for well over seven years, and in that seven years, not once have I picked up the manual to do any uh, in-depth studying um, on this camera. And um, that just speaks to how user-friendly this camera is. This is an extremely user-friendly camera. Um, now, as far as weight goes, I would say this is uh, more of a mid-weight camera. It's not really, really light. It's not really, really heavy either, somewhere in the middle. So right here, you're looking at the monitor for the camera. It is not a touch screen. It is, um, it is a flip screen, but it's not a touch screen. Um, and unfortunately, you're not able to kind of view the uh, monitor on top of the camera, but that's no big deal. So the camera comes with your standard lens, great for filming around the house, um, just everyday shooting. And then it also comes with an additional lens that's great for when you're trying to shoot objects that are far away. Um, I actually went out and purchased this 50 millimeter lens. Um, this is great for makeup videos. All right, so the next camera that I want to share with you is my Canon Vixia R400. Um, as you can see, I am a huge fan of the Canon cameras. I love this camera. I call this little camera my little baby camera for the simple fact that it fits so easily and effortlessly in the palm of my hands. Um, as you can see there, it has um, an LED monitor. That monitor is actually a touch screen. Once again, this is a very user-friendly camera. I, again, have not bothered to read the manual, but I've had this camera for a number of years also so again a very user-friendly camera I love the size and shape of this camera I love the fact that the zoom for this particular camera is on the top a very very large button you don't have to go searching for the zoom lens um, and an, a, another feature that I really love about this camera is the fact that there are no additional batteries needed the battery is actually built into the camera you simply plug it in for your charge and you are good to go And so my final camera is once again a Canon, and it is the PowerShot G7X. Um, I know you guys have heard some great things about this camera, so I won't bore you too much here. Um, it is a small, very compact camera. It is also a touch screen. I love the fact that this camera has the flip monitor, perfect camera for vlogging, and again, very user, very beginner friendly. All right, so let's take a brief second to talk about the lighting. It's not going to do you much good in your videos if you have a wonderful camera, but your lighting sucks. <laughs> so here I just have the uh, very basic umbrella package. You can get these on Amazon and I wanna say also eBay. So the bundle that I have comes with two umbrella lights and one, I call it under light. Um, I'm not sure if that's a technical term for it, but yeah, these are amazing if you are filming indoors and the lighting is not going to want to agree with you. As you can see here, I filmed this on a really bright day, so I really wouldn't need the umbrellas on this particular day, but on those days when it's a bit cloudy outside or if you are filming at night, the umbrella lights are perfect. 
All right, and so while the umbrella lights are very portable, um, those are also very adjustable too. I love the fact that this light right here fits right on top of my camera. I don't have to plug it in. It uses about seven or eight AA batteries. And I love on the back there that I can push that test button and it will tell me, you know what, it's about time to switch out those batteries. The light is very easy to use. It comes with two little plastic plates and depending on the light that you want for the video, that is the little plate that you slide onto the actual um, light itself. And as you can see, it fits simply atop my Canon T3i. Um, just very effortlessly sits there. And um, as you can see, all you do is you match up the hardware on the light to the hardware on the camera. And there you have it. Alright, and so the last piece of lighting that I want to share with you is this little ring light. It's also very portable. It comes with these six rings and the ring that you put on your camera is going to depend on the size of the lens that is currently on your camera and that's pretty much it. So the light you can either plug in or it uses two AA batteries. And the hardware on this particular light is much similar to the hardware on the previous light. There you go. That is where you plug in or pop in your two batteries. And that is pretty much it. Um, here the camera, my Canon T3i um, has on the 55 millimeter, I believe it is, ring. And then you simply pop the light, the ring light itself, right on top of the ring. And here it is all hooked up. It takes about two seconds to put it together. You put your ring on and then slide your light on top of the ring and that is it. And so the final piece of equipment that I want to share with you today is going to be my microphone and it is the VXR 1000. I love to use this guy when I am filming outside. It is perfect on those days where I am doing, let's say a gardening video or if I just want to just, you know, film outside. Um, as you can see the hardware on the microphone is much similar to the hardware on the previous two lights that I showed you. And so to use the microphone, you will need one AAA battery and uh, that's where it goes. It goes right in there. It is a very lightweight microphone. And again, it just sits right on top of my Canon T3i. And this little fuzzy thing right here, it's called a dead cat windscreen. On those days where you really want to film outside, but it's kind of windy, you just pop this over the top of the little cushion on your microphone and it really cuts down on all of that wind noise. And so here guys is, is how it looks on top of the camera. And that's pretty much it. That is my YouTube camera equipment. Thanks so much for stopping in guys. And I will see you in the next video.